What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Peaceful Leaders Podcast. I'm your host, Lizzie the Gifted. This is basically taking you through documenting my entrepreneurial journey as a hip hop artist, right? So I'm going to talk about entrepreneurial stuff, might talk about some music stuff, and really use music as the tool to kind of relate to you and relate these entrepreneurial things to you. So it would be awesome if you could just go below. Hit the like, subscribe button. Obviously, share this with a friend if you see value from it. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm actually only doing these episodes here on YouTube. Um, I was going to do them on audio, but I decided I'm just going to keep it here on YouTube only. So if you want to share it with people, it's super easy to share this video or share my channel. So I want to just kind of jump right into it. I, I want to talk about creating momentum and like winning in your life. Okay, now, I look, taking a step back first off, I personally have a lot more winning that I want to do in my life, so I'm not coming to you as, you know, a ginormous figure in the space, but I, I'm just coming to you from my perspective of what I've been able to do in my life and how I've been able to go from, you know, being somebody who really doubted themselves a lot, who wasn't on the right track, who was doing a lot of the wrong things, to now being somebody who's finally gaining some momentum, the income is starting to show and I'm starting to get a little bit more cash. And my music career is growing. My fans are coming in on autopilot. My fan base grows every day as a musician. So I'm not trying to seem like I'm this super expert or anything or like some guru. I've just been able to create some winning momentum in my life personally. So I'll share with you basically how to do that. It's honestly really, really, really simple. Um, let me take you back though to a time when I kind of wasn't winning. So when I graduated from college, which was May 2017, you know, I was like, you know, I basically want to just do music full time and that, that's really what I want to do for my career, right? I, I had said that even when I was 17 years old, but what had happened was I graduated and I was kind of in this weird place where I knew I needed to, wanted to make music, but I also knew I needed to make some money. So I was trying a bunch of different things out and I was getting very lost. And if you can relate to that, comment below if you can relate to just feeling lost in life. And I came, you know, honestly, the catalyst for all of this was this one podcast, which is now called Real AF, used to be called the MF CEO Project by Andy Frisella. But there was a concept there that Andy had shared called the power list. And I've talked about this a bunch of my other content, but I want to share it with you now. But the power list is basically a to-do it's not a to-do list. It's a list of things that you need to do, critical tasks, so that you can accomplish your goals. So basically, you write out a list of like five things. I use five. You can use three, seven, whatever. I think five is a nice number. So I list out five things. I do them. When I get them all done, I cross them off the list. If I finish my list, I write a W and circle. It means I won the day. But if I lost, I write an L and I lost the day. And this was able to keep me super accountable for the things that I wanted to get done. So... When I graduated college, I knew that I needed to produce my own music. Um, I was kind of at this place where producers sort of controlled how I was able to get my music out there. Because I couldn't, if I didn't have beats, if I didn't have studio time, or if I didn't have professional mixing and mastering, I wasn't putting out high quality music on a consistent basis. So I decided, hey, I'm going to actually put out, I'm going to make my own music. I'm going to fully produce everything. So here's what I did. I used the power list, wrote things. I wonder if, uh, I can't find it now. I should have brought it out, but my old power list. But December 2017 is when I started the power list. And I quickly realized that writing everything down that I needed to do and actually doing them every day was something that was going to really, really, really help me actually get things done. So when I was trying to learn music, it was make a beat, write a verse, record lyrics, mix, master. Make a beat, write a verse, record lyrics, mix, master. So it's five things and I was just doing them every single day. Sometimes I would write, watch YouTube tutorial or watch this thing or whatever. Sometimes I would, then I started buying courses and I would start running through courses and learning things. But I had this list that was written and I could see it. And I still, check this out. I still to this day use my power list. I still do it. I write it down. Yes, old school, pen and paper. I know, it's crazy. But I still write things down every single day that I need to accomplish to get my goals done. And they're not goals, by the way. These are things that help achieve my goals, right? So 
to create winning momentum in your life, essentially what I've done that I think is super, super helpful is you're probably thinking, oh, he's going to say write things down. It's not write things down. It's control what you can control. So to get momentum in your life, you have to start controlling more things in your life. And I mean, for me, it was that power list first, but then it got into exercising, controlling that, dieting, controlling what I eat, right? Controlling my urges, honestly, like urges to go get coffee with cream and sugar in it, or to eat ice cream, or to have unhealthy snacks, or to go out to eat them to places that weren't healthy, controlling my urges. Those urges, if you can control those things, that's how you build habits. Habits become what creates your actions, and your actions become your reality, really. So to create momentum in your life, you gotta start doing more of controlling what you can control. And like the truth is, you do need to put yourself in situations that like what I did was I put myself in multiple situations that were super uncomfortable that were good for me. So you don't want to put yourself in uncomfortable situations that could potentially hurt you. You put yourself in potential in, in difficult situations that will help you, that will make you a better person. That did, that's what I did. And the other thing too is just thinking really logically about my goals and thinking logically about what it is that I need to do to get further on in my life and just doing those things. There's a lot of times where I would think about something that I was like, okay, that's probably a good idea, but then my emotions would take the best of me and I wouldn't do it because it wasn't fun or it wasn't comfortable or it wasn't something I wanted to do. And honestly, if I had done those things, I'd probably be further on in life, but it didn't, it didn't serve me to make that decision emotionally. So now what I'm trying to do better and what I've been doing better is not use my emotions so much to make decisions, but rather think logically about the things that I actually need to do to accomplish what I want to accomplish in life. You know what I mean? It, it's hard because your emotions are powerful and especially in today's society, men are told, be more vulnerable, open up, it's okay. I'm like, this is some other, that's another topic, but like, it is okay. Like, you should be aware of your emotions. I mean, it's okay to talk about them, but the truth is, what we, what ends up happening is men start using that as an excuse not to do things. Men start acting hella emotional, and they start using their emotions as excuses for why they're not getting shit done. They don't get shit done, and then whoop-de-whoop, you know what happens from there. So, what is my point? My point is, you got to be able to take your emotions, put them aside, control what you can control, and like do the logical things that you actually need to do to get further on. Um, and the other thing too on that too is like when you're creating momentum in your life. When I'm creating momentum in my life, it's hard to not listen to people, but I, I've tried really hard to just like block other people out. And what's crazy about that? That sounds very normal. Like, oh yeah, of course you shouldn't listen to other people's opinions. Right now, you might be thinking, I'm talking about haters. I'm not. I'm actually talking about even people who know more than you, people who mentor you. There does need to be a certain part of your life where you just shut everything out and just move on your own. <clears throat> Come back to your mentors. Come back to the resources that helped you. But there needs to be a certain amount of time where you're just like, I'm doing me. I'm going to stick to my own path. I'm going to do me. I'm not letting anything else get in the way. I'm not letting anything else stop me. The cool thing is you'll probably make mistakes and learn from them on your own. And the other cool thing is you're going to feel more proud of your accomplishments. For me, I've had a lot of people help me along the way. Do not get me wrong, but I'll be honest with you. When it comes to like my results and what I've gotten, I would say 10% of it came from people giving me advice and 90% of it came from me taking action. A majority of what I've done is me taking action. It's me putting up my own money. It's me putting my own time and energy into it. It's me doing what I need to do. It's me controlling what I can control to get the results that I want. Um, so that that's really what it is with me and that's what's helped me become where I've come to, which right now with music, for example, like just to share a little bit of accomplishments, for music right now, what's been really cool is I've been able to, you know, I'm running ads. I use YouTube and Facebook ads <clears throat> to run ads on my music videos. I've been getting a lot of views. I've been getting folks to be able to retarget them. I'm now growing a fan base that to have some, a certain level of critical mass so that I can retarget those people, you know, to do other things like I have an album I'm working on. I want to do merchandise. Eventually, I want to tour. I'm going to be able to send those people 
specifically who've watched my videos more ads so that I can get them on my email list and my messenger list and my texting list and then that way I can be able to really market to those people the right way. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. I've been having ads be very successful. One of my YouTube videos just hit 100,000 views, my music video for Watch Me. That was pretty cool. It was my first video to hit over 100,000 um, on YouTube. So that's really great. And I feel really happy about that, honestly. That's a pretty good accomplishment. And I did that. My brother Gabe directed the video and filmed and edited it. I'm the one who put the money up for the ads. It was my song that I fully produced as well, which is a great feeling. So. Things are happening my way. I'm also doing, I'm a closer. So I do closing for a marketing company. And for that marketing company, what I do is, now I'm starting to close at a lot a, a lot higher rate. I'm closing at least two, three deals a week, which is for me pretty good. Obviously I wanna be doing better, but right now that's pretty damn good and I'm happy about that. So things are going pretty well in my life. I would say because I've just taken control of what I can control, my exercise, my diet, my water intake, what I read, who I hang out with, the actions I take, it all spirals into a positive direction. So my recommendation for you, just try to control what you can control and do more of controlling what you can control. Put yourself in situations that are uncomfortable that will help you and do that on a daily basis, on a frequent basis. So I hope this helps. I hope this episode is giving you some kind of inspiration. I don't want them to be too long. I kind of want it to be a quick little Bop, bop, quick little punch in the face, something to inspire you, something to get you going for your week and something to, you know, help you gain momentum in your life. So I hope this stuff helps. If you liked it, remember to subscribe, like this and comment on the video, share this with a friend and I appreciate you so much and I look forward to talking to you next time. Peace. Peaceful Leaders wanted to let you know that this episode was brought to you by my really good friend, Dan Yu. So really funny, when I did my Kickstarter for my album, Dan actually was the biggest contributor and he purchased a shout out on the podcast. So he doesn't have a product or a service or a brand that, you know, he's trying to sell you. He literally just wanted his name to be shouted out. So shout out to my man, Dan Yu. Appreciate you so much, my man, for supporting me and my dreams. You're awesome. And if you're watching this right now and you want to get your name shouted out on the podcast, DM me, hit me up. We can see if we can make it happen. Thanks so much for listening and for watching the episode. And I'll see you on the next one.